Hey guys, and welcome back to God of War. We just killed uh, Balmir. And now, we're gonna go to Alcum Alcumai, or whatever it's called. You know what, well, you know what I'm on about. Well, you would if you watched this far. If you haven't. Then we're going somewhere. It's all an adventure in the, at the end of the day. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Silly boy, I nearly jumped off the edge then. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Cool. Cool story, bro. In Jotunheim, and we'll be on our way. Probably. Where is it? Nilfheim. Asgard. Where would that say? Helheim. Alfheim. Altenheim. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Ready. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, boy. We must be close. Well. What are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Are we near the end? What plans does he have? What plans does he have for a head? One can only imagine. Oh, 
bus bright. Very bright still. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. I have nothing left to hide and then puts the gloves back on. Makes sense. Well, damn, Kratos got hmm. scars. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? Don't shout, boy. That wouldn't be a good idea. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Something's gonna happen. Something always happens. I should feel that, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. didn't know. 
She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldy was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, I'm not ready to die. No Kratos, we're not going there. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. Or maybe I'm just gonna die. Look, it's mothers. Who says she he's gonna here. kill me? She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. together son I love you, Mom. The giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home.
Loki, the Prince of Mischief. Oh, this isn't good. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. I, I can't believe it's finished. I can't believe that's how it's ended. What a story. story man I understand if you want to go home but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free some other help people maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too I mean what would Atreus of Sparta do and what would Loki do huh that's a weird name I'm glad we went with yours Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? So let's uh, let's go home. Let's just go home. Like we've been through so much. Return to Midgard. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you: more time has passed than you probably realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, the Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Nobody counts on me. You, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrope. This is the big one. Stop saying that. 
Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to so, snow sooner or later. How do I get home? Snow and you know it. It's the end time. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Yeah, I... Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winners upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my throat. Y yeah. We... We heard. Fair enough. If you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Oh, good advice. Um, But how do I get home? Oh, there we go. I can go now. I mean, it looks pretty much the same as it always did. I was expecting something different. Alright, um, let's just see if we got to use the fast travel. I want to even remember my way back. So home is here, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go there anyway. That's, I think that yeah, that's gotta be my home. All right, so let's go. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Don't I quite agree? Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. <laughs> Well, the boy is a giant. Maybe the sea serpent does know him. We're home. Let's go, boy. Well, it all looks We're the same. Finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. A bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. <laughs> Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Well, we said we didn't exactly fix the hole in the roof, did we? Okay, this will do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Head, keep watch. The ball. Oh damn, what does that mean? So that was the true ending. <laughs>